Hello, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. I'm Brooke, and we have a very special guest here today. Hello. Claire Pierce. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You guys might know her from TikTok, watching her steam her shower. We have lots of <laughs> questions to go on. Clean. I mean, talking about her favorite sheets that she likes to clean. I mean, I, I just have so many questions for you. She keeps us really, really inspired. We've talked about her on the podcast before. Yes. And yes. she's in town this week, and we had to have her on the podcast. So it's thank you. Circle. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, well, we're going to have a great show. So we'll talk about cleaning. We'll talk about products we're loving, current favorites. It's going to be a gal, kind of a gal's chat, actually, yes. today. Honestly, all of your favorite episodes. So yeah. we thought it was perfect to have Claire on. We're so happy you're in town and to meet you in person. Yes. It's so crazy because she also has a YouTube channel, you guys. Like, you just, like, do it all. And it's very, very, very impressive. I'm trying to. I should have brought something and, like, clean the offices. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's a good teaser to clean the office. That would have been sick. Yeah. Wait, that would have been like so sick. Kit. Like, and it has like dramatic music. Guess who's coming? <laughs> yeah, it's and it's okay. like spraying the Windex. Don't, don't, don't. I am the prime the steamer. I know. But you probably well, like it's just a picture of the steamer. It's like pre- previewed at this week's episode. <laughs> Hint for this week's guest <laughs> with a microphone like taped to yes, it. Yes, I do. Like the steamer. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, my God. That would be so funny. Oh, my God. Or like a bunny. Like a yeah. bunny. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A photo of a Polly. bunny. <laughs> Miss our, Miss too, too good. Too good. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to start with a new segment that we have been doing the podcast for the last few weeks called Wreck of the Week. And Clara actually prepared some. She's ready. She's a full gal on the go. We're going to be doing current favorite Wreck of the Week. So we're going to start with our Wreck of the Week. What is yours? Is the Wreck the product? The wreck no, sorry, is the, wreck is the entertainment. entertainment, anything media, yes. non-physical. Is non-physical, what we like to say. you know, yeah. it could be a TV yes. show, podcast, whatever it may be. Okay. What are you loving right now? I. It's a very random app. If you're Rough. a list-based person, like you really love checking stuff off. I searched Habit Tracker in the app store. I don't even know what the name of it. It's called Habit, and the icon is reddish, and it has okay. a check. Okay. And it's just a habit you list the habits that you want to keep and every single day you get to like go in and check them off and it'll show you a monthly view of how consistent you were with certain Mm. habits so for me i do (laughs) like my greens powder i do um work out i do uh, drinking water i'm like horrible at drinking water so i do that (laughs) But you could do, I don't know, like making your bed. Like if you're someone yeah. that doesn't really like to make your bed, but like you like the validation of like checking stuff off and then seeing, okay, wow, this month I made my bed 25 times. Like that's sick. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm like a very list based person. Yes. I love mm-hmm. that stuff. So um, I feel like that's my like rec is the habit tracking. Yeah. That sounds like a very useful tool. So basically literally like when you make your bed, you would check it off yeah. on the app yeah. and it counts how many ding. days you did. Yeah. Yeah. A little ding. Yeah, and um, it's good. I, what is that saying? Like, it takes 21, 21 days. days to create a like, habit. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess you could also use it for 21 days. I and then that. maybe you wouldn't actually need the tracker after uh-huh. that, but it's free. So, it's not like you're paying for yeah. anything. So. There are definitely that some things I'd yeah. like to start doing. Like, I want to start going for walks every single day, even if it's 10 minutes. So, maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you. Or sometimes when I'm trying to start a new habit, I'm like, oh, like, when was the last time I did that? And I'm like feels like it was like months ago but it was like monday so i'm like okay i can still get back into my yes pattern. oh yeah. that's true yeah wait i actually you kind really of feel love like a that flop because you can't remember like oh i broke the habit but it's like it's been two days like mm. i can still get back into it do you guys remember when we were younger maybe this was not a shared experience but i remember when i like for like first like got a phone and everything and you're looking up things it was so exciting to download apps oh yes, yes. you know like yeah, what apps yeah. on the productivity or what you know yes, and yes. now i'm like okay i have like instagram youtube but i don't really need and anything then the built-in else. apps because of course. apple has programmed us so they like <laughs> yeah. literally set us up to be robots <laughs> no. literally so it's like really exciting to hear about a new app that i, I kind of want to download yeah. Yeah. i would spend hours on like what's on my iphone <laughs> like, <laughs> yes and i mean i guess it's kind of the same concept as what's in my bag but thinking about it's kind of weird like mm-hmm. we used to just watch what someone was like keeping on their phones but now no, that literally. you can like decorate your home pages yep. and stuff i don't know i feel like that's it's like the same vibe yeah yeah, yeah. you're right it is no, are you one of those people that do you either of you no, do this that so coordinate um or color by color like some people do that you know where it's like literally in like rainbow order and it like oh fades. my gosh like, yeah i've seen this before it's beautiful that's beautiful that's artwork really yeah i think that's like form over fu- or function over form I don't yeah. know, like i need them to be grouped together as yes. in like my right. work apps my money related apps 
like mm-hmm. it's camera like, editing yeah. yes yeah that that's the logical sense. way that's how i feel too but i guess if you're just used to the color of things but sometimes they pull a switcheroo on you and like instagram will like completely change its branding that's right? so yeah. true yeah. switcheroo <laughs> you got me that is so true it's so true because instagram used to be like um neutral vintage mm-hmm. vibes and now it's mm-hmm. like colorful so the more you know the more you know yeah oh my gosh, i'm interested to see we should do a poll on that this week like if people oh, yeah. organize their apps via need to know color or some people don't at all do you actually this is a good question when you download a new app to your phone now do you hide it from your home screen because you know that's like a function if you go to delete an app now it you have two options you can either delete it off your phone or delete it from your home screen so it's still available in like the search mm. results but it cleans up your like screen oh. no i don't do that yeah I do it with like the ones that I really am like I'm gonna use this once, right? Yeah, ever, you know. I don't care about you. If <laughs> it's like a travel thing, that's yeah, like in just in that city or something. Yeah, like you need it for that night. You have to download. Yes. Them. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's that's a good yeah. function. Yeah, I love it. Good. What's uh your rec book? Oh, I have a book. Oh, I'm just such. A I'm not movie. surprised. Yes, you know I love me. it. Just, oh my gosh, it's always in a book. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bookworm, you. <laughs> Um, mine is it's actually a really sad book too it's Oof. called The Nightingale I think I told oh, you a little bit about it yeah. it was a dense one too it was like a big boy um, sounds like my cup of tea yes dense um, about history and yeah no the length I mean oh the length yeah you know I love a long book I finish them so fast I'm still reading Tell Me Lies and that was like three episodes ago I talked about that that's so. okay you've been moving that's everything okay. you've been yeah. yeah yeah do you read more than one book at once I have to interrupt and ask me oh, no, yeah. definitely not me um um, I try not to. Do you? Okay. It's really no, hard. No, no. Yeah. I know My some brain people. Can't do that. Yeah. I feel like that's why I was like, oh, are you reading another one? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. Just never have time. <laughs> I'm just so busy. No, Brooke challenge. I just have this. Basically, I'll let you in on the joke. Um, Basically, I love to read. I really do. And I feel like I read more in the summer because I'm like outside. I'm tanning. But at night is when I want to read during the fall, winter, every other season. And I'll get get into bed and I'm already kind of sleepy. And then I literally will read three pages. I'm out like sleeping. (laughs) And so Brooke's like maybe read during the day or like times that because we are privileged to have time during the day. And I just never do. Or in the morning. Yeah, you know, I've done that like sometimes, but then I, like, fall asleep on the couch. I'm like, wait, I'm trying to wake up. Like, I'm serious. So you should do it, like, when you drink your more. Well, I guess you're kind of with the caffeine, but, like, you know, when you're having your Oh, I do morning, drink my coffee yeah. in the morning. Yeah, so I, I've i done that sometimes. It's yeah. like a newspaper, but it's like a, a love yeah. fiction book instead, you know? Exactly. Like, I'm really trying to get into this mood of, like, waking up, drinking my coffee, and doing a Wordle. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's nice and challenging. It's um, a good challenging. mental challenge. I haven't done Wordle in a while, but. I actually did it yesterday and couldn't get it. It got Oof. me. The word was enjoy. That's like a hard one because the J, I don't know. The just, J, yeah. J words are tough. Yeah. But I'm in the not middle. At Wordle. Too. Yeah. No. no, I don't know. It's just something I'd it's a like good mental to do. Challenge. Um, but yeah, to your point, I feel like some people definitely read like a nonfiction book and a fiction book together. Yeah. yeah that's true. I yeah. just am in my, I don't like nonfiction books era. I yep. just, yeah, there I is. can't really get behind them. I used to be so on that wave. I was like self-improvement. Now my brother's in that era. I don't know if I shared this with you. No, you did not. Oh, I'm exposing him because we're on the fa- family shared Amazon and I'm like, who is ordering all of these like literally <laughs> non-violent communication? I was like, what is that? No, but it's like, it's about. Is it for school? No, no. And then like the other one, like, and then he did like the habit one, like. Um, Ghost Oh, oh, like make your bed, like that one, like you know, written by like a dr- like a drill sergeant or something. Like, oh, they're like you know, good for him. Yeah, he's in his uh, self. Oh, good for him. Life. That's awesome. Yeah. He's finding himself. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, oh um, so, so I read the fiction, Nightingale, and then I read fiction. But it is about World War Two. But it's a fiction story. But it's mm-hmm. like you know, historical fiction, I guess. Like they, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember reading? Oh my God, that's bringing me back to school. Like, I used to read yeah. so much historical fiction in like elementary school, and middle school. Yeah, like w- tellings of like periods of history. But they made it a little fun. You know, there would be like, what were those books? Maybe not a shared experience again. Sorry. Um, but they were like the diary of, and it was like a girl. Yes. My brain went to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. No, <laughs> no, those two. But no, they were like it I wasn't American Girl at all, but. Uh, but and like it, w- it was World War Two or like different. yes, and it would be going through a specific time period. Yes, in oh my god, I yes. loved those. But also Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> slapped. Did um, you read the Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I, d- I probably not all of them. It was like fun. Existed. Yeah, I never like read it. You know? Yeah, it was um, like you're flipping through it at the like scholastic yeah. yes. fair yes. while you're waiting for your class. <laughs> the book finish. fair. I'm literally getting turned on right now. So I can't. Good. Those things are so fun. The smell, like when the book fair is coming. 
<gasps> and then like, they put up the posters like yes! something's coming oh my like, god yeah, I literally like, like that is a boost of serotonin hopefully they still do those do they I feel like they do you they have, have to, to. hope they there's have a scholastic to. store in Soho I just oh, walked past wow. it wow yeah should maybe we go we'll after this lady? stop by so pop up <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> okay anyway so the book Nightingale by Kristen Hanna it's I don't know how to describe it. They're, considering that I'm describing it as historical fiction, there actually were a lot of twists and turns, and it got me in the first, like, 100 pages, which I know wow. it sounds like, you know, 100 pages, but they have to do some setup. Um, it's about two sisters um, kind of going through it, and they're living, like, different lives and through it. And they're making it into a movie eventually with Elle Fanning and Dakota Fanning, so you have wow. to read it before it becomes a movie. That is so yes. special. So that's uh, my wreck of the week. Thank you. No, I've heard, I've seen other people post about that book, so it must yeah. be good. My Wreck of the Week is a playlist, um, and it's called, it's by our dear friend, Margot Washray. She created this playlist called mm. Calm the F Down, mm -hmm. and it is amazing. It's truly just a ton of really, um, it's it's not coffee shop, because I love some coffee shop music too, but it's more like, it's like there's some Adele in there, oh. some like, I don't know if there's John Legend, but kind of that vibe, like Sam Smith, like I don't even know if I'm okay. saying the right artist, but I really enjoy it like at night when I'm trying to, you know when you're trying to wind down and you like you're all, like last night when you guys all left my apartment, I was like, I need to listen to this so I'm like not all stimulated before I go to bed. So calm the F down on Spotify. Love. Love that. Clara, are you a person that always listens to music? No. Me yeah. What's neither. your type? Podcasts? It's well, I think because first, I mean, the past like nine to 12 months of my life, I've been like filming so many of like my daily tasks that because of that, my phone is in a tripod occupied. So there's like no possibility of listening to music because, well, right. I guess I could be using my computer, but I've gotten into this rhythm of just doing things in complete silence. And I don't Whoa. even realize that like it's my, silent. my brain is occupied. So I don't like, I'm thinking about the oh shot or I'm thinking about, you know, doing it quicker. So my phone isn't, you know, getting yes. out of storage, like sucked out of it. So I, uh, yeah, I do things I'm in like shook. literally, well, I mean, when I'm driving, I listen to music, Okay. but if I'm doing anything that could be content or filming, mm -hmm. like it's guaranteed to be silent. And, and I used to not post like the ASMR versions right. of my videos, but then I realized after I exported them, before I added sound to them, I was like, this is literally ASMR, yeah. Like, yeah. Unintentional ASMR because I was silent the entire time I was cleaning. So then I just started posting both versions of the video, like one with sound and one without, and then some weeks the quiet like just spritzing you know asmr vibes will perform better wow. than I the it. music one so it's kind of like that. a double like two birds with hitting one hitting both yeah. wow the fact that you can do all that you do in those <laughs> cleaning videos in silence do you wear headphones now that they sometimes no no, no because you i don't i guess that wow. is so sh you need to get two phones girl no i want to get two you phones. need to yeah. get like a cleaning I want phone to <laughs> girl <my> girl <laughs> girl <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> I want to upgrade my phone, but I think I just got lucky with the camera on my specific phone because people always ask me, like, what are you filming your TikToks with? Like, what camera is that? Because I'll show a product and it'll, like, focus in on it and look oh, amazing. Perfect. People are like, what are you filming with? And I'm like, my iPhone 12. It's, like, not even the newest one. Like, I think it's just randomly, like, held up better yeah. than how they normally deteriorate. Like, mine has stayed pretty yeah. decent. So I'm scared to upgrade and have the new phone yeah. be worse than this phone. Like, this is, like, my security blanket. Like, or I don't Or what if this one continues to be your content phone, though, and then the other one yeah, is the personal? I guess, yeah. There's a lot that you could do. But it sounds like the Do silence you? is kind of hitting. Yeah. So. Yeah. It does work. That's so yeah. interesting. Wow. I, like, I actually was going to bring this up on today's episode because I, we always talk about how, like, I'm more of, like, a music girl. And I know I just recommended music, but I've been listening to so many podcasts recently. Like, mm -hmm. I've been preferring podcasts. I don't know if it's because I just moved and, like, I, like, I'm trying to, trying to feel more comfortable in my new space. It's just nice to hear people's voices constantly. So, I actually... So comforting. When I first moved into, like, my house alone, like, moved out on my own, I yeah. guess, like, that's a very comforting thing to, like, yeah. either YouTube videos or podcasts or, like, a comfort show, like, just to hear exactly. voices. Exactly. Yeah, it's very... Because, like, I still love music and I always listen to podcasts, but I would mm -hmm. kind of switch. But yep. now it's, like, lots of podcasts. So, I just thought I'd update everybody Thank on you that. for the update. Yep, yep. I know you were all waiting. Yes. <laughs> I actually do that sometimes, too, with silence. I caught myself today, like, I was like, whoa, how long has it been? like just quiet yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah yeah there gets to a point where i'm I, i'm aware of the uh -huh. silence but sometimes i'm i'm literally just so unaware of it and i get comments like how are you doing that in the silence? like how is oh, it how, funny. how are you doing that wow. but i mean also my boyfriend is like usually in the apartment so sometimes we will True. be like conversating oh yeah like in like, between the one clip of me scrubbing my dish for point two seconds right is silent like between mm, that makes sense sentence, so. that makes do you guys sense. both work from home yeah wow yeah oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Wow. So you're both just there. Mm -hmm. 
And you're just recording your videos. <laughs> no, I love you both. He's like, can I eat lunch yet? I'm like, no, I need to film that. Like, you, I know. <laughs> is it like that? Like, because you oh, have, that's yeah. the content. I mean, that makes me sound like terrifying. No, no that's no, like your no, vibe. There's job. definitely like stuff that he's like, oh, hey, like, do you mind if I like, can I reach in? Like, is this recording right now? Can I reach in the frame? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, it's not recording. Like, that's fine. Yeah. And once I like have started doing um like i'll just set up my i'm like addicted to time lapses right now i'm like this Ooh, is so easy like you know those post are on cool. your story like so i'll just set my phone up and like time lapse while i'm making my bed and it'll be like good morning like blah, yeah like, that'll be my first Love story it. of the day mm-hmm. um and i was like doing a time lapse of making the bed and i was like you're in the shot right now <laughs> <laughs> no you're in the time lapse you, you ruined, ruined it, it. <laughs> so how does that go like wait i i actually thought about this with you making your bed like so are you like hey like just go in the other room i'm gonna make the bed he wakes up way okay. earlier than me we kind of like have like an unspoken we never like sat down and like yeah made, like a chore <laughs> a chart, contract like, yeah. chore chart no like yeah. it's just very much like yeah uh, we've kind of fallen into like a pattern of like life and like which person is better at like which tasks, I guess. Efficient. And I always wake up an hour or two later than him. So it wouldn't make sense for me to just like leave the room and then come back in at some point and make it. It's kind of like I was the last one out of the bed. I'll make the bed. That's a good But also if I'm the first one out for like a workout class or something, I'll come home and he's at work or working and the bed's made. Like it's not like, yeah, it's like okay. you, know, it's not that have you have to yeah. do it all. Yeah. yeah, no, I think there's a misconception about my content. People, he gets more hate comments than I do, and I, tr- I told myself I wasn't going to talk about. My oh no, we don't have to here. go too into it. Well, no, but I, he gets like so many comments of people saying like, oh my gosh, like he must not do anything, and I'm like, you, why would I? I don't, there's no way you to wouldn't date someone also visualize that's visualize and that's like crazy. represent what he's contributing to the household without like showing him. Yes, and, like mm-hmm. he doesn't want to be shown. Yes. so it's just like. This it like gets people in a frenzy. Like oh, people love it. I know they love, they love to, to hate it. it. They love yeah. To hate it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let it happen. So. Honestly, like you know your truth. Yeah. yeah, and you just cleared the air right here. So you heard. Yeah, it first. you heard it here first. <laughs> well, I assume like you wouldn't. I mean, he doesn't seem like a messy guy. Like no, that's the funniest thing. He says that I am the cleanest, messiest person that he's ever met. Oh, how wow. funny! Because and I think some people might relate to this. If I'm doing any sort of creative task whether that's like a video or just like picking out an outfit or something if i'm in my creative zone and i'm making this chaotic mess if i some people need to stop and clean it up as they go like if you pull out five shirts to pick from you put the four that you didn't Mm -hmm. choose away they're on my bed like i'm throwing them like i don't have time to put them away like i need to just continue with the creative frenzy in my brain but some people will stop along the way and pick up that's just not how i work so i feel like it's my creative process to just be like as messy as possible to like get the end result or something Mm. and then if you really think about my content it's not so much that i'm a clean person because if i was a super clean organized person i would never have these big messes to clean up true the deep clean so like you know what i mean so inherently by posting this sunday (laughs) reset it's exposing me for being like a quite messy person i think it keeps you real though because i'm that's how i operate too i mean I'm, yeah I would, i'm the same way God, like, if i take out five shirts like those are staying on the butt until the next time i come back into my room like maybe a day or two later you yeah. know because like, yeah. you just want to like do i'm i want to do a lot at once like that you get your like like you said you're kind of in your creative frenzy okay you're getting dressed like i just left my apartment in a mess because i was getting ready whatever but then when i go back you get in that mood to clean and then it's all good and you like clean your slate yeah. for like the next thing that you might have to do but so true yeah i get comments like oh my gosh you're so clean you're such an inspiration and i'm like well thank you but like also if you really think about yeah like, that's what i actually did it all the time it kind of indicates that i'm like a more messy person that is so that choose, maybe just has clean moments uh-huh. i choose to believe that the people who are truly that clean don't exist but i don't i maybe it's just because i think like, i really yeah. don't know many people like that that are like so orderly that i don't same like you know you create a mess you get to it eventually. I don't know anyone that like lives with n- never any pile or any. That's 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 not level. realistic. I mean, I have like my apartment looks pretty clean right now, but I have like a pile, you know, in that yeah, corner, yeah, hidden the, the chair, the chair, yeah, right by the chair, exactly. And I feel like <laughs> everyone has that if you're normal. <laughs> and when you go over to someone's house, like they're probably gonna make sure that it's in like a presentable state, exactly. unless you're quite literally dropping in on someone just to see how their place mm-hmm. looks on like a Tuesday at one p.m. Yeah, it's you probably only ever see people's spaces in a more like when they're curated, prepared for you. Yeah. Do you like to host? Yeah, I really. Oh like my it. gosh. Yeah, I was. I would like love to be like an Airbnb host, mm-hmm. but not I can in see like this um, for you. 
like passive income, like yeah. hustle. Yeah, yeah, like let me hire a task rabbit and never actually visit the prop. You know how people yes. like, really have yeah. like. It's just like it's, it's happening. More like over a financial there. thing. You can yeah. buy like courses on how to be like an like an Airbnb. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to be like that type of Airbnb host. I would want eventually to like be in a city. Obviously, like I'm passionate about the cities I've lived in, but be in a city that I'm like truly so passionate about, like sharing with people. Uh-huh. Like the city that I live in, have an Airbnb in that city, mm-hmm. and like give like really curated experiences. A itinerary, so, I know, see this for yeah, you. The yeah. bed, like little decor. Oh my god, I love the little like chocolates, like bed. You know, a yeah. swan towel. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that would be like a dream job in the future. Wow. I love that. I've I seen that do done that. for like bachelorette parties and stuff too, which set looks so fun. Yeah. Like, or like you could hire them to like decorate your Airbnb for oh, and like that's stock the, whole the business. fridge and like, yeah, they do everything for it. We need to remember that for our bachelorettes. Yeah. Genius. I would do that too. I could see that for you. Yeah. Cause you like, like the restocking of it all too. Kind yeah. Of, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I love that. Yeah. Stuff. The itinerary. I recently found out that on Canva, if you just search, no, Canva has like a million templates. Yeah, I love You the search templates. itinerary. There's so many itinerary templates. So we oh, had wow. friends come visit us and I deleted like the, you know, Jane Doe names out of the right. uh-huh. template and like made her, it was her birthday weekend. I made this whole like birthday weekend itinerary. You're the best friend. That is like amazing. <laughs> but I feel like Canva is That's such, so nice. Like, like That's a, like a hack. A well-kept secret. She's like, yeah. this probably took you so long. And I'm like, it was a template. Like, yeah. it was thoughtful, <laughs> but don't give me too much credit. Like, it took me three days. Dude, honestly, you though. You should have told her that. No, <laughs> three <laughs> whole days. <laughs> sweating work no i actually love that because i like to make itineraries for my friends and i always do it like the notes app and copy paste but i'm gonna do that and i'm fully not gonna tell them so thank you that's amazing yeah it's a whole we've learned so much from you already yeah literally i feel like you're a wealth of information how do you like find out things like are you like like a researcher yeah do do you do you go on tiktok to find this out or like google or okay my favorite search engine is tiktok if i need like casual breakfast in raleigh i'm putting it into tiktok and odds are i mean okay Genius. raleigh is like a little Brilliant. bit different than if you were to search that about like new york uh-huh. obviously yeah but still but, um you know i don't know white shoe alternatives yeah. to air force ones that's yeah. going in tiktok that's wow. so interesting search engine. brilliant I like wouldn't think to do that, but that's so genius. I would love to see your for you page versus mine. Like, is yours very um? Like, what would you say yours is? There's no telling. My I will say my Instagram explore. What is your Instagram explore page? I feel like that might say more yeah. than your for you page. Mine's because, nails. Yeah, yeah mine's, Brooke always says that. Mine's nails and bunnies. Oh, the only <laughs> so you must have liked some some bunny content. Mine's yeah. all um outfit photos. I have to look now. Like all like girlies like. Oh, I have some outfits. And I have some, like, m- not memes, but, like, uh, graphics. <laughs> this one says, get the fuck up and enjoy this life. <laughs> On that brand. is funny. There's uh, a couple dog videos in oh, here. Oh, you have some quotes? Yeah. Yeah, some quotes, but mainly, like, no, like New York my- Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait, that's Stop. So cute. Fluffy bunnies. <laughs> that I'm is obsessed. so funny. Yeah. I know. I just, I always find it so interesting to, like, see How other, different people, like, like, our boyfriend's TikTok for you pages. So different, you yeah. know? Yeah. I'm obsessed. My I love, boyfriend I, doesn't have a TikTok. Mine either. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Real. a you problem, but yeah. I will pretend to agree. <laughs> that was how Ryan always was, and then he just made a TikTok. And now, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now he's yeah. TikTok famous. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah, Ryan's doing he the has clips. come up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this guy looks a little familiar. I know. <laughs> and then it pans, and it's you, and I'm like, oh, no. Yep, that's right. No, literally, he was like, I'm going to christen your apartment. He goes, Danielle wanted me to do this. He wanted to do it in my new apartment, by it's the way. It's so funny. It's so funny, yeah. The good thing is he'll never, like, do anything with it. He just loves posting it on Friday. We well, always miss his Fridays. I'm like, you're a bad TikTok or eggfluencer is what he calls himself. Well, he could hysterical. get an egg partnership. I hope yeah. he gets like a free pan. Like that's all. Yeah. Uh, a pan or I'm an egg. Yeah. He could do I mean, a pan, like egg. an always pan. Like, yeah, like a good that's spatula. a heavy pan to flip yes. it. Oh, you gotta get good something lightweight. Like apron. Yeah, for some girth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, an, an apron. apron. Oh my god, with like his face on it or something. It'd be like egg flip Friday. <laughs> you know, selling like, merch. Yes. You know, it would be like so mean, but like. It'd also be cute if I like pretended to reach out to him as a brand so, and like oh sent him a whole PR package and he would be so excited. Hey Ryan, we saw your content, big fans. He would be like ten yellow. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. But that Does would be he have so funny. Email and bio? No, no, no. Like, like it would have to be. Down I would have to make like a TikTok account to DM yeah. him, and he probably wouldn't even see it. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, when you get the email and bio, that's when you know you're getting serious. 
Yeah, I went email. Gotta the respect bio. the hustle, but that's when you get to that level of like, yes. you can reach out to me. Like, <laughs> exactly. I know. I remember when like girls at school started to put their yes, like, yes. emails in their what? bio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our sorority also was oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 They I'm like, picturing high school. Like, no, 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 no. Our sorority was like, I mean, I think a lot of sororities at Georgia had, you know, influencer types, but ours was everybody. I mean, one of our. A girl in between our two grades, I won't say her name, but she's like a huge country star on TikTok now. I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should say her name. Meg Maroney. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's incredible. <laughs> no, I mean, she's great. I she's, just wasn't sure if that was like, she's you know. No, she's not who I was talking about. She's incredible. Like, her yes. music is so good. She's crushing it. And she, um, she, I feel like she kind of like started in college. Or she's probably doing it before college. But. No, she's been singing since. But well, because I remember I was a year older than her and we rushed her and she was like, people were like, she sings like country music. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then, yeah. Yeah, she's really talented for sure. Um, so, Clara, we need to talk about what this thing is that you use in your on your shower door. Oh. Is it yes. a steamer? So. A cleaner? It's a Steam mop. It is a Black & Decker steam mop. The only steam thing that would make mop. it better is if it's cordless. I oh. hate when things have cords, yeah. but mm. I just don't think... I think the battery would last five minutes. Like, I just yeah. don't think it would have enough power if it okay. wasn't plugged in. So that's my only con yeah, of this Yeah, that's okay. Product. That's fair. But it's a steam mop, so it comes with, you know, your mop to mop your floors, and then you remove that, and there's a smaller pad that I used to use before. This is my first glass shower, so I, like, okay. have no really, like idea of how to like maintain it so it's a newer um, purchase or had you had that before the steam mop i had had the steam mop before i just never used the squeegee attachment uh. so there's so many attachments for this thing so there's like a pad that looks like it's a floor pad but it's tiny and you can use that on like tile walls or like oh, counter it shows mm-hmm. it on like the countertops uh-huh. which i've I like the idea of using it on countertops for, like, sanitization purposes, you know, because, like, it's probably better than, like, a Mrs. Meyer spray for, yeah. like, yes. if you just cooked, like, chicken or something. But it has a tiny pad for tile walls. It has the squeegee attachment, which I use on the glass. It has a grout brush attachment for doing, oh. like, tile grout. Oh, yes. I need that. It has one that's um, almost like a steel wool, like, very aggressive, like, metal type of bristle that i wow. think you're supposed to use to like clean your oven or a grill oh um, yeah, yeah there's so many attachments it's like a hundred bucks and you get all, all those? the attachments yeah. come yeah. you don't have to yeah. purchase wow. separately yeah oh my gosh i i just so you used it in it. one wow. video wow. didn't think like really anything of it because i didn't realize it was this unique product i just searched steam mop and like huh. it came up and yes lo and behold it was like probably the best one that i could have got wow because all the other ones you can't switch out the attachments. Uh-huh. I don't. I could talk about this. For I have like 30 another more question. For so it you makes on your this. glass super clear, basically. Yeah, yeah. Shower, it just not steams. The fog it steams it as it goes. Yeah, it just steams. So like you know, um, maybe it's a me problem. But when I do like my conditioner or something, I'm like splattering of course. it against yeah, yeah, the glass, yeah, of course. and um, it will kind of like loosen it up, so you don't ever have to like scrub it or anything. That's you just, so like, nice. Kind of slowly wow. Go over it. So satisfying. I love those. Clips. And you're only supposed to put um, water in it. So oh, it's not so even it's like so a chemical in it or anything. Mm-hmm. I added vinegar without reading the instructions. And then it was like, oh, like you could. And I think I found it on a forum. Mm-hmm. Not even like. Oh my gosh, product, you're like, on the forums. I'm dead. You the could, for- but it like <laughs> breaks it in the long run. So you're literally only supposed to use water in it. So it does wow. its cleaning, but just with water. And like the steam is what powers is, it. Yeah, yeah. Is like sanitizing stuff. so do you do is this part of like do you have a day like you know to it's tuesday happy steam mop day like or is it like <laughs> it's normally sundays oh, yeah okay. sunday i'm reset. like filming my sunday reset, gotcha so, yeah and then you say all these attachments i have like things like you know i have a vacuum that has attachments like i don't know i feel like i have a lot of things that have attachments do you have a preferred method for storing the attachments i was just gonna ask this <laughs> really? because i get i'm like i love the idea of all of the, the yeah. idea of it but yeah. like where do you put it all mm-hmm. well my new apartment has this extra closet uh. in a sense that i've deemed the cleaning closet which has like i own two vacuums um could probably donate one but i'm like if one dies like, yeah they never have it's the like a vac- it's the same vacuum i just own two wow them. Oh what is gosh. it can you a shark cordless vacuum okay yeah i didn't do the dyson i got the shark i got the shark um when i worked a nine to five it was like a corporate gift wow it was i don't know if, it's yeah. pretty common for like corporate companies to give vacuums as gifts i didn't know this when i told my dad he was like yeah i've been offered like five vacuums. how funny oh my god <laughs> so my so first cordless shark was um 
like a corporate gift and I liked it. Mm-hmm. And then I was working with Walmart and they were like, pick something like from the website that you want to like share. And I was like, you guys sell cordless sharks. But it was like a slightly different model. So I had to buy that one just so I wasn't showing one that the wasn't one. sold oh, anymore. Right. So I have two. They work fine. Like I wouldn't yeah. have, I didn't need to replace the first one I just did because wow. of the deal. So you, so yeah, so not in New York. We don't have an extra cleaning closet. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got extra closets. That's so, so nice. Oh, you're inspiring. But One it's day. tiny. Oh. It's tiny. Still, you can fit your vaccine. That's where you put all your attachments. And do you Where's have it all your, organized? Or? No, no. That <laughs> so it's just like in a bag, kind of. Yeah, it okay. comes with like this little mesh bag, and you could like throw it somewhere. But um, what's your like laundry situation? Um, we both a, have I think wa- that's a laundry, laundry subject. subject. We have, no, we luckily <laughs> have a new, that was yeah. a top of the priority list for me when looking at apartments. Yeah. Same, like, uh, there was one apartment I was trying to choose in between, and but it had the no laundry in unit, and it's so crazy. Like, I, like, have become to love laundry. I mean, I know you do. But is it in its own closet? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a little closet, yeah. yeah. So you could get an over-the-door, like, shoe holder. Yeah, you could. And a lot of people will use that, like, in your laundry room to hold, oh like, your God. dryer sheets and stuff like that. But I would get, like, a cute... I mean, um, container store, like, Alpha has those things that go over the door, and you can, like, add the stuff. I have also... Um, in previous apartments, if you smush your units, assuming the washer and dryer, like the you stack, stack sure yes. you can kind of smush it over. And I've gotten like a little wheelie cart that's like slender and like fits. Mm, that's nice. It. And I saw a girl on TikTok. I feel bad that I can't like credit who it is, but she basically put like those shelves type things that I have for my skincare, but in, I think you'd kind of have to get like a good angle. To, like, oh, I have the this. Wall. Yes, I got yeah, You can like Amazon. put them in your laundry room and like put mm, products and stuff on nice. it. So you can like surprisingly fit more stuff into that little laundry closet than you would think no. i realized like recently i saw a girl's like nyc apartment tour and she was like oh i use this for st- i mean i don't know if you're supposed to use it for storage because it's really hot in there but she had it was full and i was like damn i'm not even using like a quarter of mine yeah. like my new laundry unit has like a, a built-in thing which is so beautiful but i think i even need more storage so i like the idea of putting something over your door you just have to make sure it can close obviously yeah. but i think it could That'd be good um, for yeah, us. we're very lucky to have in unit laundry. Yeah, we're though. lucky That's to even have that here in New York. So uh, crazy, like the differences. Or a lot of times, if it is included, sometimes it's like an all-in-one unit, or it's like a smaller unit. Like it's just very, yeah, it's rare. Yeah, one apartment I toured this fall was, um, it had like a hybrid washer dryer. Mm-hmm. I was shook by that. I stayed in an Airbnb in Charleston, and I was and like, yeah, but well, where's where's the other? Because on the list, <laughs> yeah, said that there was like a washer and dryer, and I'm like. I see one machine, but like, where's, where's the, the other? other? <laughs> and then it took like seven hours to do one load because it had to drain everything out and then it became a dryer. And yeah, yeah that is, I mean, I, it's I, better than having to like march yeah, to your basement, but of course, still, yeah. yeah. But then you can't do two loads at a time. Yeah. You can't do your lights and darks. And you have to pay every time too. Like people have to like, you know, load up the laundry card. Like, so like, it's of like course. literally a call. Co- it's giving college. Yeah. yeah. It's giving college. It's giving freshman year going to the basement and like Oh my gosh. My clothes year. getting stolen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like new fear unlocked. Or like when people would leave a post it note, like moved it to the dryer. I'm like, no, but not everything was supposed to be yeah. dried. Ugh, too That's much. True. Yeah. Um, so speaking of laundry, I have personally become obsessed with detergent recently. And I was watching one of your vlogs and you were talking about how you like to use the Le Labo detergent for your sheets. Yes. What do you use for your clothes? Or is that still true? In an ideal world with limitless lay labo, right? Yeah. Of course, I would use yeah. it on everything. Yeah, I got um like the Kith Laundress collab. It's, I have that too. Super good. It's kind of giving like lay labo yeah. vibes. Wow. Um, so I save like my fancy detergent for linens and sheets. That makes sense, actually. Stri- yeah, because it just makes um like if I wash my ruggable with the lay labo, it's gonna kind of make the whole kitchen smell like right. lay labo. Um, and I guess in the long run, if all my clothes smell like that, I would just emulate right scent. Yeah. but i get the tide honey lavender Ooh, that sounds nice it's um the one that like looks like eco-friendly it's probably okay. not oh yeah but it's like part of their like eco-friendly line but yep. it's because i like the lavender in it um and then i also used to buy i don't even think they make it anymore do you remember it was like love and purpose or something it was like oh, some brand at target i know what you're talking about oh beauty yeah. love and planet love beauty. planet yes, yes. Yeah. love beauty planet something Maybe. like yeah. that. we are like all on the same words, page yes and there was like a purple one a blue one yep. and like a yellow one or something and they used to make one that was in this cute little squeeze bottle where it's like one squeeze and that's enough and it would be like a teaspoon of detergent and i would always be skeptical of like uh-huh. is this actually doing anything then they discontinued it but i like uh-huh. lavender scented 
laundry detergents. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty potent too. Like yeah. it actually like will stick. I think that's so interesting. What about this? Is so like the fact that I get excited about this now. But like, what about like stain remover? <laughs> <laughs> or do you do you not get stains? I stain everything. No, <laughs> no, that's not the case. <laughs> um, Grove stain remover. Grove. I think you have to order it through their website. The Grove Collective is that? What yeah. That? Okay. Their yeah. stain remover is really good. Um, or like I use like Shout. Like I literally like yeah. just spray it on my. Oh my god! So I don't even think I own a stain remover. Oh my gosh. Dude. I have tied sticks. Oh, yeah. Like that's not a stain. Well, no. what? Sorry, sorry, for me, sorry. Like, <laughs> for me, when I like get, I always wear white when I eat pasta. I do not know why. Oh. I think it's because I wear a lot of white and I eat a lot of pasta yeah. probably. But so what I'll do is I'll literally take that off right away and spray the shout on, let it set, and then you put it in the washer. But I didn't know if like there was something better. But hmm. Well, I like, I mean, it's hmm. not... <laughs> foolproof like you want to keep this in your laundry room and use it every time like you got a stain but maybe on the go you throw out your tight sticks yeah i have not used those in forever okay no i mean maybe they work to get the stain out but then you're left with a little ring you're so right it's terrible where it's almost like as noticeable as the stain would have been if you had just left it but if you get shout (laughs) wipes yeah you guys are booing me it's like all right i'll just leave now thank you like (laughs) we don't have a laundry (laughs) pro we'll finish the podcast no no i don't but someone recently talked about them and i was like they must work great because yeah. the spray is amazing. I posted a video of like how to clean, <laughs> how I cleaned my like the over the ear AirPods, like the Maxes, oh yeah. yeah, and I just used the wipe and Did it, it work? like yeah, it worked so well and it like reminded wow. me of how useful it was something i used to put in like my bag in high school or something mm-hmm. you know heaven forbid you got a stain in first period your yes. day was ruined yeah. so. I used them a long time ago, and then I like my passion for them has been reignited. They're like little tiny wipes. Interesting. A pack of four is a dollar. There, I need to like start writing this down. I need over the door storage. Yes. I need shower. You can wipes. re-listen. That's the thing. Yes, the beauty of this. Yes. It's all recorded. <laughs> I find cooking at home to be so therapeutic, also saving money, and it just feels like you're putting really good food into your body because you're making it at home. Um, and sometimes that's hard. Like today I really don't want to go to the grocery store and I'm just so excited that my green chef is coming because then I don't just don't have to worry you know like everything comes to you already good to go so green chef let's talk about it it's a ccof certified meal kit company Um, they make it super easy to have meals that fit every single lifestyle whether you're keto paleo vegan vegetarian gluten-free or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. They also are offering more customization than ever before with three new flavorful protein choices on the menu. You can also swap the protein in any menu that features chicken, beef, or salmon for USDA certified organic ground beef, USDA certified organic chicken, and wild caught sockeye salmon. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with dinners that work for you and not the other way around. That is key, you guys. Guys. This fall, choose Green Chef for premium balanced recipes that please your pla- palate and save you time on busy weeknights. Green Chef is the only meal kit that is both carbon and plastic offset. They offset 100% of their carbon footprint as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Like that's seriously amazing. Go to greenchef.com slash gals135 and use code gals135 to get $135 off across five boxes and your first box ships free. That's greenchef.com slash gals135 and use code gals135 to get $135 off across five boxes. And again, your first box ships free. We love to see it. Um, okay. And I have another question about cleaning. Because you said that you weren't always this person, like, in college and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you become this person? Like, did you just wake (laughs) up one day and you were like, surprise, like, I decided to, like, actually, like, you know, clean. Like I'm cleaning Clara. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I always make the joke that I swear my college roommate, like, watches my cleaning videos with, like, her (laughs) fist clenched. Like, why wasn't she on the side of her leg? (laughs) Where was this when I needed it? But. um, Oh, that's funny. I know. But um, I feel like it kind of. I liked my apartment in college and Mm -hmm. I invested in furnishing it, but I invested with, you know, like Facebook market, like things that I wasn't thrilled with. I mean, it looked as nice as it could look, but you know, I was sharing a space with someone else. They would have friends over. It felt less like my space. And I think there was, it wasn't 
like a flip a switch flip yeah but there was this like gradual like realization of like post-grad moving an apartment decorating it with like more expensive pieces Mm -hmm. and like not having like being responsible for your own mess type of Of thing so i think it was just this gradual like i want to take more pride in my space compared to college but also when i moved um my first college my first apartment out of college was a studio apartment. Mm. So it was kind of like there was no choice but to clean up There's or no else hiding. there was no room <laughs> to walk around if you had like clothes mm-hmm. strewn about. So um, it was kind of like, I guess, like a necessity <laughs> thing. That makes sense. But then that makes sense. it was kind of like this, um, like fueling the fire of posting these videos of like, oh, it like, does well like once I realized that the cleaning content is performing well it almost became kind of like addicting like I wasn't I would never make a mess for the sake of cleaning it up I've Mm -hmm. had brands approach me with oh we're (laughs) launching like a pink cleaning spray like would you make a bright pink smoothie spill it on your counter and clean it up for the video and I'm like no that's (laughs) weird like I'll clean up my spirit the thought of you staging that makes me laugh because no, that's, that's giving so me the ick you. of someone yeah, yeah. smelling a smoothie. Yeah. No, it's so cringy. Oh. Like I never make a mess because I'm oh like I need a viral video. Yes, I didn't let get me, that vibe from you. No, not mess. at all. But um, it does kind of like get me more excited to clean. And through filming the cleaning, I was inadvertently like r- timing myself because you could see how long the clip took mm. so if i'm like oh my goodness i have to fold this pile of laundry oh this is gonna take 45 minutes this is so annoying finally kind of like get the like urge to do it set mm-hmm. up the camera film it three minutes goes by wow. it's done and wow. i'm like I-, I had just no concept of how long these procrastinated tasks actually would take if i just did them so i feel like even if you're not filming yourself just set a timer and like do the task that you're dreading. And I mean, maybe you're, you would be confirmed that it was yeah. as long as you thought, but it's like a nice surprise. Cause I guarantee you like, Oh, this big dish, of, this big sink of dishes eight minutes later, it's all gone. I feel like and I thought be, it would take an hour. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that'd be really good for you. Cause you're very competitive. <laughs> That's another thing. Yeah, you have to make a playlist. You know, like by That's, the end of you this know playlist. me. Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah, I'm like yeah. Oh, a I playlist can... like by the end of this playlist, it's done. Or for you. It would be like a timer. Okay, ready to go. Ooh. I actually, that's how I got the scar on my eyebrow. I'm, <laughs> it's all ties back because I'm a very like quick person. And it was, I was cleaning up my basement. And it was like, hurry up. Like, we're, you know, like my friend's mom was like, hurry up. We're about to leave. And it was my basement. I was like, one sec. And I was like rushing to clean up. And I banged my head into a oh. column and I got this scar. So I always am in a rush and I'm always competitive. So yeah, yeah so I, that would work. not, but I'll do it safely, please. No <laughs> fork to the eyebrow this time. <laughs> like, I feel like that could be real. I mean, I would probably be down for it too, but I just immediately thought of you because you love a game you i do she and I, loves game. yeah that sounds fun i like the idea of filming it too just because you're i always am tempted to grab my phone exactly. you know i'll be in the middle of a task i'll be like but i'll just check tiktok quick yeah, it's just like really quick no that never happens then you and sit I end up down on the couch. Yes. Yep. no it's so true i i don't know about you but like for vlogs i'll um like do a cleaning video because i'm like or not cleaning but like a segment in the vlog because i'm like i won't do this unless i vlog it i don't know okay if I, ever do I get self-conscious tell me how to like overpass this fear i guess of like my cleaning not being like perfect or people being like i don't clean that way so like i don't know do you ever get comments yeah. like that yeah it's um damn no I, and I know that's like crazy but like i so a lot I've of the times i clean that. i clean for like convenience so i'll clean around things or whatever like because i'm like i don't want to do the full deep clean today whatever. Oh, like, yeah, i don't know i, know I just mean, think like, about that like no and maybe oh i God. should do the full deep clean every single time no. but you, you know what i'm talking about like when you do like you know your shower's getting a little dirty but you don't want to like go in there and do the full like exactly. spray all the products whatever you want to just do like a little rub down yeah i feel like i drew a line whether or not i realized i was drawing it at the time where i don't it's not like i'm posting a cleaning tutorial it's not like right. this is how you clean your shower this might be how i'm cleaning it this week but it's also a reflection of how much it was used how much product is on the walls like you know yes there's a difference between like a cleaning tutorial and there's definitely accounts that are like this is how you clean out the drain in right. your yep. washing machine and mm-hmm. stuff like that but i yeah i don't know how to clean a specific thing or like how that do you get a stain out better. of this i can google it and tell you what google said but <laughs> so you, you don't get well. comments that are like you should have used this spray yeah or, no or like, yeah that i can't really think clean i wouldn't yeah. Yeah. yeah i haven't really gotten it wow like, that's like such like an insecurity that i'm like projecting well, yeah, I'm no like, it's wow, good I'm to sorry. bring it up like, you guys should be more insecure about how you clean <laughs> like i'm like oh my gosh no i could see a world in which like if i 
used a spray on my refrigerator, someone could be like, that's bad for me. Yes. Could, I've never yes. had okay. that, but I could see. That's something. what I think about, or I'll, like, that it's going to splash on something. I don't know. I think people are like, oh, my God, this girl doesn't know what she's doing. Like that. Yeah. I okay. Yeah. More s- something with the steamer is, I mean, I rent. I don't own. Maybe I would have looked a little bit deeper into this if I owned a house and if the floors were, I mean, obviously, they're my responsibility, but whatever, wear and tear. So right. people are like, oh, my gosh, I don't think you're supposed to use that on laminate. I'm like, well, nothing's happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what they built this apartment True. with. True. Yeah. It's fine. But obviously, if I own my own home i would probably be like a little bit more cautious of certain of course and yours, and I, mean, yeah. I just bought like a really nice like wooden kitchen table so i'm like cautious about what i'm using on that true i didn't grow up in like a coaster like household like, yeah like, your mom would, like, me neither behind you, like with the coaster but now like i'm becoming like on mm-hmm. that table i'm like coaster coaster, coaster. Like, so coaster. funny so yeah i guess the steamer is one thing that people question oh is this safe to use on this or can i use this on that and i'm like look in the manual like i do not <laughs> want to be the one that ruins your floors like yes. yeah 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 did you ever go to people's houses growing up i'm sure you both have that they have the cover on the couch still People will like, yes, people will do this where they like, they live so like that where it's like they refuse to like let their items get worn. Yes. Like I understand like the coaster thing of it all, but like some houses are so like, oh yes, they I'm keep them it. so like pristine that it's, it's like, like, what's the point of having it? A little, it. Yeah. You know? So I'm here for this approach of like realistic, yeah. you know, but still, I don't know. You care for your items, of course, but like, you know, what's the exactly. sense of having something if you're not going to exactly. like, you know, I lay yeah. on my couch and like. Exactly, oh. and that's why, well, I guess you, you can't really wash yours, but, like, that's why I got a slipcover couch, because if something happens yes. or something already has, yeah. you take it off Same. and you throw it in the wash, mm-hmm. right? You shout uh-huh. on it. <laughs> You're really influencing me on the ruggable rug. I've heard a lot of good things about that. I think it's in the wash. so worth it for your kitchen. Mm. I wouldn't, I mean, okay, if you have a dog or something, living room too, but it's only really worth it in like a high traffic area because I will say they look really good, but they don't look like a carpet. Like there is like such a slight like visual difference that if you wanted a fluffy white carpet for your bedroom, like a ruggable isn't probably, well, no, they have fluffy ones now. I don't know. I think it makes total sense for the price point to have it in your kitchen. I wouldn't, ne- or like entryway somewhere where shoes are going to yeah. be on. Yes. I wouldn't like put it in my living room. Cause also if you're putting your couch on top of it and you're putting your accent chairs on top of your coffee table, how often are you actually going to rip that? Yeah, out? No, no. No. You know what I mean? But uh-huh. in your kitchen, you can just pull it up. So yep. I think a runner, a ruggable runner in your kitchen is like, Prime. I actually had a ruggable runner in my apartment, like in my college apartment. Oh, yeah. I like Fun the fact. thought of it being able to clean like that. that yeah. Clean. That is yeah. a really cool. I see people with them have. like in the, um, I see people with them, under their beds and i'm like how often are you lifting up your bed <laughs> pulling out the rug washing it putting it back down but maybe if you have kids or a dog or something you do it seasonally but again i don't have like anything that creates that you mess. do have a pet though yeah so you have a bunny when did you get the bu- what is the bu- bunny's name one more time polly, polly. okay yes. i wanted to say that but i was like if i get this wrong i'm gonna be so <laughs> upset it's p-o-l-l-y people okay. think that it's well, when I say it verbally, people think that it's P A U L E Y, and I feel like it changes your <laughs> visual. Polly, yes. oh, like like the like I think Polly's. Polly's. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, Polly's. Well, that's what I immediately thought of, but I was like, I won't bring that up. I love that you knew <laughs> that. Like oh my Polly god, Polly Pocket. Yeah, yeah I was thinking like Polly Pocket. Pocket. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or like Princess Polly, yeah. the more modern day Polly. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yes, of course, the toy. Like, yeah, <laughs> literally. <more> chic that. <laughs> Yeah, she's, um, gosh, how old is she? She turned three on July 6th. Wow. Um, and she'll live, I think a lot of people, when you think God, bunny, rabbit, I know. <laughs> Wait, they only live till six? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, start over. I, I feel like when a lot of people think of rabbit, you think of them on like the same level maybe as like a hamster like okay. a guinea pig yes and i don't know if you had a hamster or anything growing up no. they live for like two years max and that's like a good okay it's uh, a good hamster that. i don't know my hamster lived for like i think that's pretty yeah, yes. it's kind of like a short term almost like starter pet i feel mm-hmm. like there's a lot of yeah. a lot of people's like relationships with them when they were younger and then maybe you prove your responsibility with that and your family gets you a dog or a cat right. or something but um rabbits live like 10 to 12 years yeah, wow. so they live a really That's long awesome. time. So, but a lot of people will get them, like have them for about like four or five years. And I guess they finally Google like the expectancy and then they're kind of over it. They're like, oh, oh. you know what? I'm going to give this one up and go mm. get a dog because I'm ready for a dog. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, it's commonly abandoned animal and abandoned in the sense of people just like let them go in, a wa- in the wild. But that's they're just like, like domesticated. Yeah, they don't yeah. know how to work. That's like, I don't know. 
Oh my god, that's so um, sad. That's Funny. So, very, very sad. They're very cute. Yeah. yeah. So, so all so that to cute. say is, I try my. I obviously post her. She's freaking adorable. So if I po- if I take like a cute picture of her, like it's going on my story. Sometimes she'll hop into the frame. But I really try and shy away from being like an informational source on them because they're so commonly abandoned. Like I don't uh-huh. want to be the reason that someone's convinced to buy wow, one, and so then wild. they're like, really "Oh my nice goodness! Like this was more right. than I thought." Yes. I don't know. I really try not to contribute to like this glo- I and mean, she's adorable and like I yes. I think they're a great pet, but I try not to over glorify her cuz it's nice. as much responsibility as a cat or dog if not wow, like, a little bit more. Wow, that's very mature of you. And it just free roam in yep. the apartment. Yep, she has a litter box, so it's a, like a cat. Like oh if gosh. you think about like how a cat would just like, yeah, she just I, walks around. <laughs> need to I come to Raleigh and come near Yeah, you have to meet her. If and there's just a the bunny walking around. It's iconic. But it hops, though, right? Does yeah. It hop? yeah. Oh my God. I'm I'm hopping. Yes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And she. um Do you like sleep? Does she like get in bed? No. Does so she can't jump up there. She, yeah, she can. Up the bed. Like if you, yeah, like we'll come home and like if we forgot to close the door, like she'll be like in the bedroom. Like you can tell because there's like little imprints on the bedding, like oh where she has clearly been like walking. Um, oh my god! But she, uh, yeah, she's three years old right now. I got her when I was a senior in college, so she did long distance <laughs> with me. She oh would like god. travel with me on the weekends, Aww. and then, um, <laughs> and then she was in the studio apartment. She did not love that. She, mm-hmm. yeah, she didn't love the studio. It was like dark. She doesn't love hardwood floors. She's kind of warmed up to them, but they like slide a little bit. Oh, so I see. So she she'll kind of, traction. if she gets spooked, she'll like run in place like a oh, cartoon no. character because she can't get traction. And you're like, Polly, like the, nothing's Keep wrong, going. but her eyes are wide and she's running. Oh, oh my God. Um, but yeah, she's great. I think she's like an amazing pet, but that's she'll so be fun. around for a while. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's so cute. Oh my God. Very that's, sweet. I do love I have that a friend who has a bunny though. And like, they have a dog too. And like, they coexist. Like, yeah. they will adapt to your like, exactly. life. Exactly. Yeah. I think it would be harder in an apartment because when you are introducing a dog to a rabbit, you, in theory, should find a breed that has no like herding or hunting mm. instinct because that's oh just my God. a recipe for disaster if you like yeah they might seem like 100%. they like each other but you leave to go to the grocery store stop and, you know, I believe it yeah I, that's what I was immediately yeah. envisioning you can't like trust that those natural instincts aren't going to like someday come yeah. out you need Maybe to have they sides of the home but to, exactly like, so if you have like a home where you could like separate them when you're not around that would be better or um I mean I've seen plenty of people that have like a rabbit and a dog that coexist i just wonder if it's all the time like if you leave the house do you yeah. just leave the house that doesn't sit right with me you're such reason. a like, wise, wise woman. woman i know like such an <laughs> educational source on all of these topics wait we never did our current favorites so should we do that now oh my god we were just talking i know and yeah talking. we just got could you into put it. it at the front we could but that's not what but we do yeah, there we go we'll just stop <laughs> <to our birthday. laughs> i look at her we're not gonna do that right I love it. I love it. Um, so current favorite. <laughs> do you have a product or an item or a physical thing that you're like loving right now? Oh, yes. So I was like one click away from booking an appointment to get extensions. And then I, I went, this. yeah, I went blonde in college and there were so many people that were like, don't do it. Don't do it. It's going to ruin your hair. Cause I wasn't intending on staying blonde. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh, I'll do a blonde phase and then go back brunette. It destroyed my hair. And I'm like, in hindsight, I should have 100% listened to those people that told me not to go blonde. So when I posted about potentially getting extensions, there was just enough people in my DMs that's like, don't do it. It ruined my hair. That I'm like, "Ah, this is probably one of those hindsight moments where I might wish that I never never did that. So I bought a halo hair extension piece. And it's like the best money. Do you have it in right now? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have even known. I watched you put it on. And you made it look so easy. Is it actually that easy? Like it stresses oh, me out. Oh, I didn't out. even know because I want it looks so bad. Incredible. You can, can you it's see right it here, right? Yeah. Can you I don't see, see that it, little? But, oh, now I now I do that. You've pointed it out. But wow, it's like a does it feel line? heavy at all? No. Well, I mean, it feels kind of like, I mean, it feels foreign. It feels like a weird headband right. at first, but after ten minutes of wearing it, I wouldn't notice it. it. Looks so and good. the company that I got it through, it was called um, Luxie Hair. Uh-huh. It used to be like this huge like influencer. I think it's since sold and it's just like its own company oh um but you upload a picture of yourself <gasps> and it scans right, your hair and down. tells you what color to order and they have like balayage ones they wow. have they have ones that have like speckles of gray because if you have gray hair yep. and you want it to blend with that so um you upload pictures of yourself right, and it down. tells you what color <laughs> tells you what color to buy and i did kind of my own experiment where i uploaded four different pictures in different lightings and 
three three of them came back as the same color and one of them suggested like the, the shade lighter so like, okay probability wise it's going to be the dark brown this mm-hmm. is like why you're so wise like i would simply never take the time to do that no, would never. you ever but now like, i'm going yeah. to it's on my list no i mean to do it four times oh yeah no no like no. to uh, like that is like, like that's so, good enough you're so, like good like, at life i feel like like to be like <laughs> you no, are I'm very good at four and like make sure like that's like wow yeah it's well incredible. it comes with a swatch too so when you first open the box there's a tiny little like swatch of hair that you're supposed to compare and it's like before going any further like do not open mm. once you open the next step of the box it, you can't return it oh. but you could continuously order colors until you found your perfect perfect gotcha. match and i've seen reviews that customer service is good i they got it on the first try like it looks yeah. incredible i can't I, w- I didn't even know the fact that you're telling me this i'm like wow i, I, I was thinking like what if i say this in, in the back of your minds this whole time you're like what is going on with her no now? No, no it looks fantastic it looks so 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 good so do you put it in and then style your hair um so it's already curled so it came straight i think it came straight okay but whenever i wear it i pretty much curl my hair so it's already curled and the curls have held so i will curl my hair then section it then put it in since it's already done done but i also the first time that i ever had to curl it i put it in and then did my hair like around it okay but you're supposed to wash i haven't washed it yet i, I have no have idea how that's gonna go no you wow. have to do a whole tiktok on it including your sunday reset <laughs> oh my god <laughs> washing your hair you know? <laughs> hey the people need to know they do I love wow, it. that was a great favorite. I'll have to check that out because I the reason why I didn't really like extensions so much is because they hurt my head. So that you're saying that it's pretty comfortable. That I really like that. Well, and if you're like, this is I need this out immediately. You know, yes. like a sensory thing. You're out. like, yeah. But in for the Uber on the stuff. way home, and you can't wait to rip it out. Like you could just take it out. And, like, Were there different it. lengths? Yeah, okay. yeah. I got um the shorter length, and it just so happened to be the exact length of my hair. But She's you could volume. get longer. Yeah. So I don't. I can't attest if the length part would look natural. Yeah. But. That yeah. looks great. The I'm volume not, factor looks good. Yeah, I'd say. I'm motivated. Yeah. Um, okay, yours? my favorite is I got a. V- I'm, I've been in a vest moment. I have one from Z- Princess Polly. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Polly. Shout Polly. out. Um, but then I got a black North Face one. Um, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Looks I, so cute. Thank you. I just, you know. I really decided like this is what I need for layering. I'm always cold and like this I could wear like a fleece jacket and like put mm-hmm. that over or like a big sweater and wear that if it's like not too cold like and it's just the most practical th- jacket. It actually has a lot of like utility factors too. Like there's a little hood hidden in it and <laughs> utility. No, features. actually like yeah. I was like, "Whoa, this is like geared up like all the pockets and everything." <laughs> That's like so it was great. very cool. I like the black and white too. It's sleek. Yes, thanks. Yeah, I figured it goes with nice. everything. And there was a brown one that I really liked, but I was Ooh, like, I yeah. just like black. I wear more so. for sure, for sure. No yeah. vests are so great, and you could wear it under like a jacket too, as it gets colder for extra warmth. Whoa! I, I don't I know. I know that. you just get really cold. I always get cold. I'm always yeah. yeah. But I decided my new thing. Everyone helped me out. You, I, I'm just always gonna wear really warm socks, mm-hmm. and then like try to make sure that like my chest is warm because I feel like like and then your hands too. You're supposed to be, like it's, it's supposed to be like those places. Your chest, yeah. Oh my god, if it's open and I'm cold, like it gets so cold on your chest. Like Very the breeze. Cold. On yeah, your so chest. a nice scarf and then yeah, maybe yep. hat. I feel like the accessories actually keep you really warm. That's Keeps why they're created. Me. All right, what about you? I love your favorite. Um, mine is a Sydney Adams. Do you follow her? I feel like you would love. She yeah, like, I feel like you would. yeah, yeah. I've like recently became obsessed with her. She always talks about this. I wrote it down. The Stanley Big Grip Travel Quencher in the color cream. It's like this huge jug. And I used to be like a hydro flask girly, whatever. But this has been the way I've been consuming my water. And you said you have been having trouble. Say. You should get one of these. It's got a big handle. It's great for just like when you're around your apartment and you just like want to drink water out of it. And it keeps the ice lasting for actually a day and or two days even. Um, and it's just a really big straw. Like I just really enjoy drinking water out yes. of it. And it looks really nice. Like you get different colors. So I got one that matches my apartment aesthetic. So it looks good on my counter. Mm-hmm. You I know? did notice it at your apartment yesterday. It looks great. Oh. Thank really you. blends in it yeah. re- it's huge the only thing is like i was like coming here and i was like i don't really want to bring that because if it spill you know it would spill that's why i'm a I stay true i'm a middle school girl at <laughs> heart with my hydro flask. pull up the hydro flask the yeah. sword Energy coming weapon. out yeah it's like <laughs> yep <laughs> asmr <laughs> hydro flask guy asmr <laughs> I love it. I still, but I guess the straw gets kind of gross. I don't know. When I think about it, I'm like, ooh, yeah. yeah. No, I know it's really hard to wash those. Just everything. I hate wash. I hate dishes, like the washing or water bottles in specific. I just throw everything in the dishwasher. I'm so lazy. I'm I like, do too, but sometimes, like, there. if you just need that thing I know. clean, it's like, oh, gotta get my straw brush and yeah. 
you got any recs there no, I'm <laughs> no i don't that's not fun um, at all. oh gosh what was i gonna say my thing with water bottles and like any emotional support drinking <laughs> yeah, apparatus sure. you like i feel like for me it's like mind over matter like i'll be mid-sip and i'm like when was the last time this was cleaned and all of a sudden i oh. no longer want to drink out of it because i can't mm-hmm. and then i think with the stanley cup it's clear on the top so you can see in yes Sometimes I don't like when I'm drinking a liquid that I can't see oh, I what see. it yeah, is. This is a mystery. Yeah. I don't really yeah. know what's inside. I don't want to know, though. So that's the difference between you and I. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I'm okay with that. You yeah. Know? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think some people are I just natural born like water lovers. And like, I think for I sure. I just don't. I You're don't not? Love water. What do you drink normally? I mean, I force myself to drink yeah. water, but I'm uh, very rarely does water feel good and refreshing. You know? Does anything? Oh that's oh, like a flavor. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you find joy in anything? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like the flavor of water. Do you like, ever drink like sparkling water? Sometimes, yeah. I'm yeah. just not a huge water person. I just, just don't a beverage like person, water. Or? I'm a yeah. I would drink, you know, a green tea yeah. or juice like or a literally lemonade anything, or something. Yeah, like a liquid IV. But it's just the taste of regular water is just not. I'm not like ever. Like yeah, craving there's people, water. There's people alone. alone. Yeah, yeah. You're there's not some, alone. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's why they make all these new things, like the tablet that you put in the drink, and like it makes oh, it yes. good or whatever. Like I feel like there's all these things now that are for like here non-water you know, drinkers. Yes. Here you drink, go. Drink, drink, yes. drink that water, girl. Live your life. I love that. Um, well, I feel like that was like a good kind of place to end off on. Yeah. Wow. And we chatted for a while. Um, oh, just about yeah. an hour. At yeah, literally an hour. This was so much fun, Clara. Thank you so much for coming on. Where can everyone find you? Plug yourself a little bit. It's Clara Pierce. It's actually Purse, but I always say Pierce. <gasps> Whoa. I, yeah, it is weird. But like I've lived my life as Pierce. And then I every once in a while will remind people like, oh. So you, you say Pierce or you say Purse? Well, it's pronounced Purse, but it's P-E-I-R-C-E. So it's oh. just like a really confusing name altogether because your brain thinks that the I is for the E. Mm-hmm. And then you Mine totally Pierce. did. I never correct people. Like, I answer oh, to anything. You should. Eh. I'm glad you corrected us now. Okay. Thank well, you. Yeah, wow. so you say it's your name. It's your namesake. Well, so it's Clara. Well, I feel like if you were to say, oh, yeah, we had Clara Purse <laughs> on the podcast, half of the people would be like, Who? Maybe wow. if they literally follow me or know who I am. Yeah. And then if you say Pierce, they'd be like, oh, yes, the cleaning girl. That is so interesting. Yeah. So it's Clara Purse, but Purse. it's P-E-I-R-C-E. So the last that name. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for uh, the correction on that. But you're that's on like all my handles, like TikTok, Instagram. I think TikTok has my middle initial in there. I think it's Clara R. Okay. I think. For whatever reason, my full name was taken <laughs> when oh. I made an account. Where's and the other one? Try yeah. to buy it back. TikTok, <laughs> YouTube, Instagram is all just my name. Amazing. Well, yeah, you, you guys, guys don't follow her. I mean, seriously. You're missing, you're missing yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, that's your Sunday source of motivation. Honestly, that is what you, normally when I'm like Sunday, like piece of shit, five o'clock <laughs> vibe, like that's when your video goes up. I know the time. Because <laughs> that's I, when we pull it up. That No, because I open my TikTok. I'm like, all right, I'm up. Like that yes, gets me I up. I am <laughs> activated. <laughs> Like, do something, Brooke. Yes. Piece of shit. Five o'clock Sunday. That really killed me. I know that feeling. Yes. Well, For me, it's two o'clock on Sunday. I don't know why that always oh, gets really? me. I'm like, oh, God, I got to get up. Yeah. It's like right before sunset for me because then I'm like, oh, my God, it's about to be nighttime. I know. Right? I yeah. did nothing. Yeah. I know that feeling. And you start panicking. You're like, I'm wasting my life away. I'm just, I am nothing. Spiral. Like, yeah. And then you Literally. spiral. But then you watch Clara's video and then you. Uh, Everything's okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, Clara, thank you so much again and everyone go follow her check her out and we'll see you guys next week yeah bye guys bye